He is the top high school baseball player in the state of Ohio, but that's only one way Fairfield's Brock Mathis is inspiring people. But now Ken Brew is here to explain this student's incredible drive. Hey, Ken. Tanya, I'll tell you, Brock Mathis is a good baseball player. Very good. Not many high school players get recruited by the University of Louisville because the Cardinals are very good. But that's where the Fairfield senior is taking his bat and glove next fall. You could call it part of a higher calling. Brock Mathis remembers the day his dad bought him his first set of catcher's gear. And uh, I'll never forget he took me in the backyard and was throwing him as hard as he could at me. And it would knock me in the head, would hit me in the arms and everything like that. That was 12 years ago. Now, Mathis is not only one of the best catchers in the tri-state, the website Max Preps has anointed Mathis the number one player in the entire state of Ohio. Brock Mathis is so good, the University of Louisville started recruiting him years ago. That's where he's going to go after his career here at Fairfield is over. But that's only part of his story. Hey Amen. Somebody say, preach it, Brock. It was six years ago. The pastor at Princeton Pike Church of God had been watching his young parishioner, had talked a lot with Brock, like what he heard. And then Pastor Barry Clarty dropped this on young Mathis. I told him, hey, you're going to be speaking on uh, Sunday. And he was 12 years old, and, and he didn't bat an eye. The Mathis family is one of deep faith. The Princeton Pike Church is one of great size. Brock lived up to the moment. I love to talk. Tonight your key point is, are you thirsty for God? Are you thirsty for God? So tonight, if you have your Bibles, go to John chapter 4. We come to find out, we get there, and, you know, maybe 25 to 50 people gave their heart to the Lord that night. So it was, it was just, his, just his love and his grace. Matthew says he still gives his testimony, but only one asked. It's his final year on the Fairfield baseball team. That has his immediate attention. And as for being the number one player in the state of Ohio. It makes me work harder. You know, it makes me, you know, okay, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed and I'm humbled by that, but I want to be the number one in the country. Another piece of testimony he'll be happy to share with you. Mathis has helped the Indians to a 12-3 and record so far this season. Fairfield plays Princeton tonight, and Brock Mathis is currently hitting 544. Ooh. Wow. And has driven in 12 runs. How about that? Ryan? Ken, thank you. Great.